Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's overwhelming royal duties and relentless schedule, the reasons for Megxit. As experts continue to analyze the reasons Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, exited the royal family, one royal editor believes he's pinpointed the moment that things became overwhelming, especially for Meghan. Prince Harry and Meghan rushed into royal life. During the Pod Save the Queen podcast, royal experts reflected on some of the Sussexes' top moments before they made their exit. In taking a walk down memory lane, Daily Mirror royal editor Russell Myers determined that Prince Harry and Meghan's reason for exiting had a lot to do with the way their roles were so overwhelming. Myers shared a memory of the Sussex's 2018 tour of Australia, Fiji, the Kingdom of Tonga, and New Zealand. That was probably their proudest moment. It was a great tour. It was absolutely relentless. He shared of the pace and schedule. Podcast host and gripper wondered, do you not look back at that tour now and think, actually maybe they were going at it a bit too fast? She noted, we have talked a bit about, maybe they should have eased themselves into royal life at the beginning, maybe it wouldn't have become so overwhelming, the way you're talking about that tour now, it sounds intensely full, on. It's not a good way to be working, Gripper added. Myers shared, yeah, she was pregnant as well, remember, I couldn't believe the fact that she was keeping up at such a pace, she looked amazing. It was a relentless schedule, the editor continued, and I get that it was their first tour. She wanted to hit the ground running. They were the hottest ticket in the world. Did they do too much as royals? Myers believes that Prince Harry and Meghan may have taken on too much and could have followed Prince William and Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge's lead on pacing themselves a bit, given that it's a lifetime job, Myers explained. I'm at a loss to explain it makes it, really, and why they found it royal life so hard. Maybe they did try to do too much. Maybe that is a lesson that they will take forward in their new life. He added, but I think it is, honestly, to do with the constraints that they felt they were both under. Whether that will be any different in the private corporate world, I've no doubt. Myers also touched on how Meghan had other projects that showed her in a positive light, noting, perhaps if she had done other projects like that, she may have found it a bit easier. He noted, adding, Only she will know, really, the straw that broke the camel's back. She said she wasn't being supported within the family. But maybe they did try and do a bit too much. Should Meghan have followed Kate's example? The royal editor then pointed to the example that Prince William and Kate offered with Kate not stepping up with projects right away. Myers noted, When Kate and William were first starting out, we are only seeing Kate come to the fore in the last year or so, and she's been a royal for nine years, he added. It's a lifetime job, and you have to take the advice that is there for you. And undoubtedly, they as a pair, they never did that, and it's been to their detriment, unfortunately. Another report. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry could do a tell, all interview with Oprah. When Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex first announced Megxit in January 2020, they could not have anticipated that the coronavirus, COVID-19, pandemic would bring the world to a screeching halt. As the Sussexes made their final rounds in the UK in early March 2020, completing their last royal engagements, they had no idea they would be spending the next couple weeks quarantining and social distancing in a Hollywood compound. Though the pair had plans to shutter Sussex Royal and announce their new Arkawell Foundation, their new life outside of the British royal family has officially been put on hold. Since the duo certainly need to define who they are outside of the firm, we're certain that all of this uncertainty is making this uneasy. Still, whenever life does return back to normal, 
A royal source says that we may expect to see the Sussexes giving a tell. All interview with Oprah Winfrey. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will have to work to remain relevant. Though they are two of the most talked about people on the planet, that can all change in an instance. Certainly, makes it one the Sussex's many adversaries, and their move to Los Angeles has certainly left many people scratching their heads. In order to maximize their worth as public figures, while garnering the best deals for a financially independent life, the pair must remain relevant while they can. Royal expert Chris Schick explained to ITV News, If they want to achieve all the things they want to achieve, and I will come to that shortly, they need to capitalize on their current high profile. Right now, it couldn't be any higher. Here is an American woman who, in the space of less than two years, joined the royal family and then decided she wanted to leave it. That creates a huge amount of interest in this individual. Meghan could decide to tell all, to write a book, to do a big interview. In fact, one royal source believes that they will only be on the A list for a short time. The Atlantic's Caitlin Flanagan explained. The couple's future isn't certain. They are hugely appealing and glamorous. Everyone in Hollywood is eager to host them. The first few years of this plan are going to be heady. But, as Harry has often said, as soon as William's three children become old enough to emerge as individual figures, the clique lights will immediately turn to them. He is in a rush to make his mark and seems to treat life as a race too. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle don't want to do anything to embarrass the British royal family. Though the Sussexes have seemingly had some tensions with the royal family, there is still respect there. The pair have made it clear that they don't want to embarrass the royals in any way. The Sussexes have stated that they are determined to honor our duty to the Queen, the Commonwealth, and our patronages. Additionally, Prince Harry refuses to make fun of his family. A source explained to Daily Mail. Harry has instructed his and Meghan's team to nix anything that in any way could be negative toward the royals, essentially anything that is negative to the Queen, Prince Charles, his brother or the throne is off limits. The Sussexes could do a tell, all interview with Oprah. Still, considering the unique position that they are in, the Sussexes could do a tell, all interview with Oprah Winfrey, a trusted friend of theirs. Page Six is reporting that the couple has been offered $1 million for a tell, all interview. According to Page Six, sources close to the Duchess revealed Oprah Winfrey is a favorite to quiz Meghan on her bombshell exit with Harry from the firm. When Meghan was part of the royal family, it would have been unthinkable for her to do a solo interview with anyone about her life and how being a princess has changed her world. But now she's very much her own boss, and it has put her under pressure feeling that the public have lost their love for her and Harry after they took the big step of going on their own. Somehow, we doubt this will go over well. In other news, Prince Harry is finding things a bit challenging right now, says friend Jane Goodall. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle relocated from Vancouver Island to Los Angeles late last month. Prince Harry is finding his new life a bit challenging after relocating to North America, according to his friend, famed conservationist Jane Goodall. The primatologist and anthropologist shared that she has been in touch with Harry since he stepped down his royal duties, explaining that she believes he's had to make some serious changes in his life as he settles down in the United States with wife Meghan Markle and their 11-month-old son, Archie. She told the Radio Times, according to The Guardian, I don't know how his career is going to map out, but yes, I've been in touch, though I think he's finding life a bit challenging just now. Harry and Meghan left their royal roles on March 31st after relocating from Vancouver Island in Canada 
to a secluded compound in Los Angeles. The couple has not ventured out of their new home in practicing social distancing amid the ongoing coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic. May source previously told People, like everyone they are adjusting to social distancing, being cautious and safe, the source added. Despite all the uncertainty surrounding global events, they are positive about the future. It is exciting for them to mark the end of the transition and the official start of their new chapter. While speaking about Harry and Prince William as champions of the natural world, Rudolph also discussed the fact the two siblings do hunt, though she believes the younger brother will stop engaging in the activity. She said when discussing the two's support for nature conservation, Yes, except they hunt and shoot, but I think Harry will stop because Megan doesn't like hunting so I suspect that is over for him. Previously, Goodall, who visited Harry and his family at Frogmore Cottage last summer, disclosed that the father of one had touched on stepping away from the royal wife months before his public announcement. In an interview with Daily Mail's Weekend magazine, she recalled Harry making a telling comment about his son's upbringing during their time together. She recalled, At the end of the conversation, Megan came in to listen with Archie. He was very tiny and very sleepy, not too pleased to be passed from his mummy. As the conservationist shared a cuddle with Archie, who turns one next month, she remembered making him do the Queen's wave. She remembered saying at the time, noting that Harry's response couldn't have been clearer on the subject. I suppose he'll have to learn this, Harry said. No, he's not growing up like that. At the time, Harry and Meghan were still months away from announcing their decision to step back as senior members of the royal family, and the couple had already declined to give their son a royal title. So there you have it, that's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry's situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell if you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Don't stop.